is Venkata from Violent System. Hello, my name is Peter Sling. Hi, my name is Todd Harris, and today I'd like to talk to you about the three methods of which we handle multipathing within the storage environment. We have an active passive solution, a mutually active active solution, and a true active active solution. In the active passive solution, you've got an active path to one controller and a standby path to the secondary controller, meaning that all LUNs or volumes would are contained and, and controlled by one controller. In the event of a path failure, you have a lose a path due to an HBA failure, a network connection, some, some sort of uh, infrastructure problem. Everything has to fail over in, in the environment for the secondary controller to take control of all those volumes or LUNs. In case of a mutually active active, both paths are active, but they're only active for the volumes that are controlled by that controller. So in this scenario, if a path were to fail on, on the first controller, all of those LUNs would have to trespass or fail over to the other controller, which takes that same failover time. Third one is true active active. In this configuration, all the LUNs will be owned by both controllers. In case if there is a controller failover, switch failure, or a HBA failure, you still have active paths from controller two. In this scenario, there is no failover, reduced application rate, and minimal risk of uh, performance impact.